How do you read and manage the chat box when you, as the speaker in Zoom, share your screen? Some speakers have an assistant and it could be a virtual assistant or a VA who can reply to the chance or perhaps mute a participant. But regardless, you as the speaker might want to see the chats and participants also as it could give you feedback as you go along presenting or you could manage your meeting better, like mute someone. So in this video, I will give you four distinct ways to see your chats and participants while sharing your screen in Zoom. Hi, if you are new here, I am glad to meet you. I am Avik and in this channel, you will hear tips to improve work-life balance, maximize technology, and grow in faith. So today I will share with you four ways that I do if I share screen in Zoom and I'm able to manage my meeting controls as a solopreneur, that means with no one assisting me at all. Specifically, I want to see my chats or manage my participants in a multitasking way while I am presenting. Perhaps there is a moment when I will ask for reactions from the attendees and I want to read their messages or perhaps replying, short replies. Or there could be a noise interference from a participant since I have allowed them to unmute themselves, even while I am presenting. So how would I do it? The first is using an external monitor where I can put the participants list in the chat box. This actually declutters my main window where I am sharing my screen. I have actually done that in some of my lectures. You will see that in my other videos where I give online teaching tips. And you will actually see me looking at that direction or that direction. So I will not demo it now as I am not in my usual residence. The second is to use an external keyboard. This happens when I have shown only the slide on screen and I have resized it in a way that I could put the chat box and the participants list in another corner of just one monitor. So with the external keyboard, I could press the down or up key. The third is, if you want to use the inbuilt keyboard and you want to play the slideshow, then the arrow keys will work to move to the next slides. However, your chats and participants list could block your view of some of the text within the slide. Note that these two boxes are not seen by the participants. They only see your screen where you have the presentation. What you could do is design your slide in a way that you have room for these two zoom boxes. Well, if you don't want to do that, redesign your slides, I have my fourth option. So the fourth option is to enter the meeting using another gadget. Say you have a smartphone, an iPhone, then as the host in your laptop, you make yourself with your gadget as a co-host. Then you place your smartphone beside your gadget and open the chat box. However, with this, you can see either just the chats or the attendees, but not both. So unless you close the chat box and then open the participants and close the chat box. So it's a bit mm, limited. So in summary, the easiest way without changing your slide design is to have an external monitor that can declutter your screen. The traditional way is to play the slideshow, but you might have to move around always your chat box and participants list unless you redesign your slide to have always a space for these two Zoom boxes. Being also another participant by using another gadget could also be a way to focus on just seeing the chats or just seeing the participants. So I hope any of these four ways will be helpful in your next Zoom meetings as a self-reliant, independent solo speaker without anyone else assisting you with Zoom meeting controls. I'll see you in the next video.